Hey everyone, it's Lindenherz. Yeah, finally, finally I um, find the time and yeah, also the feeling uh, <laughs> for making a video. Um, really, it, it's I guess it's really, it's five months ago since I made the last video, since, since uh, December, the end of December. But there were so many things going on and I really didn't felt like wanting to make a video actually so was quite strange and um, also didn't know what to share because um, I haven't purchased any new deck uh, since then so since the Weavers Oracle uh, which I still adore and which I should say s ruined every other deck for me because the experience that I have with uh, with the Weavers is quite intense and I and quite special and really um, I want to have uh, that with every other deck and uh, some of the decks don't feel for me uh, don't feel like that for me so um, I didn't felt quite uh, drawn to any deck except for one and uh, before I will share it with you um, I will share with you a little bit more of my my tomato balcony here <laughs> Oh, and another noisy thing going on. <laughs> to be honest, it's quite um, difficult today to make a video, if you can hear me, because everywhere is noise. Inside it's noisy, it's outside it's also noisy, so we have to make the best of it. And so we come to this one here. So I wanted to make an unboxing after a while. And um, I have to say, this uh, it's a deck, it's a tarot deck um, that I will unbox. And um, I was really back and forth with it, although, although I knew I, I love the um, artist. Still, I didn't felt like uh, I wanted to have another tarot deck. I'm searching for tarot decks. This is really a thing. I'm really searching for them. But no not one deck is really drawing my attention um, really close I have to say um, there are decks um, that are interesting that seem uh, intriguing but um, not enough <laughs> now the children <laughs> in the neighborhood um, yeah but not enough to, to tempt me really so um, I thought okay if that's not no so if no deck is calling you, that's okay. Uh, I guess my um, purse will thank me for that. So, without further ado, I try to open it. I love this thing here with happy reading. So, not only books, but happy reading with cards. Uh, let's see what we have here. I guess you can all you have already seen it. So. Look at that! <laughs> it's the Spirit Song Tarot. And I love the box. The box is gorgeous. So, let's see if we can go a bit deeper here. And I have to see if I can open it without any problem. So, let's adjust this a little. It's quite fitting for the for the deck here with this this one made for each other <laughs> yeah um i was really back and forth with the deck i'm not quite sure why um maybe because it was not really a traditional one at the moment i'm really sometimes i guess i no i should say i'm regularly searching for um decks that follow the uh, smith weight structure I have uh, some decks that don't do that, and I like them for that. But sometimes, uh, in terms of learning, I want to, I'm searching for a kind of alternative Smith Wade decks, not clones, but um, yeah, alternative decks. But at the moment, I'm okay that I don't find anything. Although there is a deck, an upcoming deck that will be published next spring by Llewellyn. 
oh my gosh and i have forgotten the name of the the artist i know the the author will be lunaya weatherstone um but the artist is um i try to put it in here it's also an artist by an uh, an artist that uh, drew an oracle a tree oracle deck the wisdom of trees oracle and this is also one that I want to purchase because I think it will be fitting quite well with the deck that is um, that is about to be published next year. And it's called the, now I have to recall it re correctly, the um, Forest of Enchantment Tarot or the, yeah, the Forest of Enchantment Tarot or Tarot of the Enchanted Forest. I, uh, I guess it was the, um, the Forest of Enchantment. And I'm following this artist on Instagram and she is revealing some of her cards um, already. And can I say I have problems to get it open here. So now I have it. And these cards are just, I the first card I saw was, was her Queen of Pentacles and I was stunned. I was stunned and I fell in love and I felt in deep connection to that card and um, also to the other cards, and I can't wait to to find it. And I guess I will do, link it in the description, the uh, Instagram account of her, of whoops, of these uh, this artist. So now we have it, and the box is really gorgeous. So yeah, US Games is improving on on their boxes. I have to say it's quite nice and sturdy, and it feels quite nice. Yeah, so this was a deck that really tempted me, and I had it often. It, it was in my in my um, card uh, on and off and uh, back and forth, and now I got it from Wordery for quite a reasonable price. Sometimes Amazon is really uh, all over the place with their prices. So one day you have it for under twenty. Uh, euros in this case and sometimes you have it for far over 20 years so or 27 euros this is ridiculous and i try to uh, reduce my purchases from amazon since amazon is not really a not um, a reasonable um yeah seller so to speak seller platform um so I try to find other other um, um, sellers or platforms or something like Rotary. I try to find uh, further find other ones. So like Book Depository is also quite okay. But um, yeah, oh, further ado, and it feels really nice. And look at this soft pink with a green. It looks amazing. Oh, and no, I have forgotten. It's <laughs> I really, I'm out of practice, I have to say. Forgotten that they are shrink-wrapped as well. So now we have to see if we can get open that one. Yeah, so I have to say, so my tarot practice was quite um, not so um, deep as maybe, or not so um, busy, maybe you could say busy as uh, practices of others. Um, I primarily work with just one deck at the moment, uh, at least one tarot deck, uh, which is the Gaian tarot, which is, it is my, my soul deck and I can't deny it. Um, also working, of course, with the weavers and also with the women runes um, by um, Molly Rema and uh, Shikina Mountain Water. But um, I felt in I felt in the mood to to get another. Um, oh, this is interesting. This is something I hadn't noticed before. Did you notice? Is, is that normal that they have different kinds of colorations? So here we have this this um, yeah this bright white, and this is more like cream or something. This was something I wasn't aware of. The cardstock is okay. It's a little bit more cardboardy like. Not so, I guess uh, the old um, US Games cardstock was some, I liked it more from the Paulina Tarot. Not the Paulina Tarot, the um, Joie de Vivre Tarot. I guess I like that more, but it's okay. I could imagine that this could be a bit more a problem because it's a little bit more cardboardy like. 
yeah but it lo still looks amazing and the colors are amazing yeah yeah it's okay oh look at that color it's really so soft color and color therapy you could say yeah well like I said I wasn't very busy with my um, with my tarot practice and um, I find it okay because um, there are other things that sometimes get more important and uh, I used my time uh, with a lot of yeah to yeah I guess I delved into a lot of studies and so on and I guess I will make a separate video on that because this is on a whole other topic uh, to share with you what um, uh, yeah what moved me the last month and um, yeah and uh, it has also to do a, a little bit to do with tarot with a certain tarot card with my year card with a justice card the empress is also gorgeous yeah it's interesting it's um a little bit more i don't want to say oracle kind of way but because of the um the extra titles you not can't necessarily get it out of the image what's about uh, what what the theme is about when I try to find that shaman oh look at that wolves ah oh, and I like her line work is Paulina Cassidy's line work is so exquisite the chariot this is <laughs> A rhino. We call them also Nashorn. <laughs> and the elephant strength. Courage and endurance. Really delicate, delicate. And this was the one that I fell in love with. So this it's really amazing this uh, this kind of um, this look He's so relaxed, he or she, I'm not sure, so relaxed and um, laid back also. And um, what happens, happens. Just be quiet and listen within and grab to your tree. <laughs> Hold tight. Oh, look at that. Octopus. If this one to focus. Um, I hope you don't... Um, this was also a concern of mine uh, making this video because I've mm, realized that my camera, when I um, uh, make videos, that there is some kind of a strange noise that has to do with the camera maybe or with the, the audio system, I'm not quite sure, which is like a little ticking sound, which is really uh, annoying. Maybe you can't hear it now because of all the other noises here. Ah, the justice card is, is the crow. Was there a, I guess it's crow and a raven, yeah, crow and a raven. This is also not so often, either you have crow or raven in animal decks. Ah, oh, the mantis, the praying mantis, the hanged man, patience and perspective. This is something I really like. like. This is really interesting that these have so different kinds of border colors. Hmm. Interesting. Temperance, balance and harmony. Hmm. The shadow, okay. Coyote tricks the energy. Hmm. The tower, this is really interesting. The tower. What I've heard already is that the, um, the guidebook is not as amazing as the um, guidebook for the Joie de Vivre because that was uh, the Joie de Vivre tarot was really uh, or has a guidebook that is so beyond amazing for a little white book so let's see Cameo release and a revelation change ah sudden shift okay now I get it because of the sudden shift but I like that because um, the chameleon I guess I'm not sure if you is it the same in English 
chameleon, I guess. Um, because uh, because this this uh, animal is so um, yeah, it's it can adapt quite quickly. So this is really something I really like. So you have to uh, embody the qualities of the chameleon to um, deal with uh, sudden change. I really like that. Oh, look at that, the swan. Mm. Peace and healing. So beautiful. Oh, <laughs> owls. Yeah, owls. Really amazing. Another, I guess there's another deck that I'm, uh, maybe, maybe uh, my, my husband will gift it uh, to me for my birthday. I'm not sure. Um, uh, the uh, Tarot Fauna, uh, which is an all animal deck, but um, I'm so in love with the colors and also with all the miners because uh, all my favorite animals are in the miners. So they have um, for cups, they have otters, for um, wands they have foxes, for pentacles they have the bear and the brown bear and for for um, swords they have the barn owl or the white faced owl and I'm so in love with that. This is really... It's almost my 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 soul animals, my elemental animals, all in, uh, uh, encompassed in one deck. But I have to say, it's only um, the otter that is really my uh, water elemental guardian that I have. The others are also quite important, but um, wonderful nonetheless. And I really like the line work; is really exquisite. It's really exquisite in this deck. It's really amazing. Look at this expression. Wow. And the sun. Happy. There is no naked baby. <laughs> of course, not in an animal deck, but uh, even not a horse or something. So uh, I really, it's refreshing when you don't see these. Uh, yeah. The, this typical, this is the only image, the typical image that I um, don't like <laughs> in. Uh, in uh, traditional uh, in these traditional decks so I have to see that I don't mix them up so oh my gosh the peacock this is great awakening renewal and enlightenment mm. oh yeah this is amazing why is it uh, I don't know how is it uh, how do you call them in English so we call them potvai Sounds a bit harsh, I guess. Potvar is or just the whale. I'm not sure if you how you call them. I guess the there's the humpback, but it's a different kind of whale, which we call Buckelwal, and this is a potval here in Germany. Um, those the typical Moby Dick kind of whale. So this is really interesting. I've heard that the um, elemental animals are not necessarily a typical for their element. So um, um, acorns, I'm not quite sure. What was acorns? Acorns. Acorns are fire. So, okay. What typical fire animals you could... The only one that I know from my traditional kind of uh, education is, uh, of course, the salamander, but... <laughs> Still, it's interesting that you see here a bird, bird of prey, and a ram. Inside and focus, this is interesting. Okay, it's really fascinating that the and you cannot say why they they change the the colors because sometimes you have two similar like that. Strange, really strange. Oh, how you call them? We call them Balros for vacants. Mm. Walros or Walros. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce them. Walros, we call them. So quite similar. How oh, I <laughs> challenge and growth. Growth. Uh, growth, growth. Leopard, okay, it's a leopard. 
der Leopard. This is really interesting. Here it says it's an elk. Um, and the thing is, elk sounds similar to um, the German word elch. But when we say elch, uh, we refer to a moose, actually. This is quite um, confusing, uh, for me at least, confusing in terms of language. Um, we would call them, this might be a, a wapiti or something, so um, a stag or something, a big one. But um, So elk, or elch, here in, in Germany is, is a moose, actually. <laughs> Oh, look at that, look at that, it's, 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 it's a badger, it's a badger, yeah, this is definitely my earth animal. <sighs> Determination and stamina, he's quite agile, he looks quite agile here. <sighs> I love badgers. This was less, two years ago or something, when we were in an animal park, a uh, wildlife park, um, and uh, they had a whole badger family um, there, and you could see in their, um, uh, I don't know how you call that, uh, their home, their underground home, um, they had a, a glass window there, and you could uh, look at them while they were sleeping. And this was so soothing, because every family member, they were all cuddled together, and uh, it was so snuggly to watch. <laughs> it was really... Uh, a wonderful experience to watch that although okay i guess the, the these uh, or this badger uh, family is uh, used to, uh, to um, the people that are standing outside i would uh, think it rather uncomfortable uh, to be stared while i'm <laughs> lying in my bed or something oh this is an eel okay ah so quite similar hmm <laughs> The eel, energy and results. The elusive eel is a master of transformation. His search of energy drives him to move in all directions and at great speed through the wild rivers of ingenuity. Okay, Highly observant, he quickly finds ways to adapt into new situations. So the aid of... Okay, the, 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 this quick energy card. This quick fiery energy card. Okay, I guess it. Get it. But... Um, Really, you have to you have to look at that, and you have to be quite aware of what uh, that acorns is fire or uh, wants. Still interesting, and if you want to, uh, I'm not sure. Did she? I guess yes. Um, if you want to uh, read a wonderful poem uh, regarding this deck, then you have to check out um, uh, Rainfire's Dreamings. Um, uh, Instagram. Um, last month there was um, a challenge by Over the Moon um, Academy. Um, this was the 30-day poem challenge and she used two decks, so the Terror of the Hidden Realm and uh, the Spirit Song Terror to write poems, so a line for every day. I have to say uh, I try to uh, do this challenge, but at the moment I'm so bad at challenges on Instagram. I can't make it through. Uh, maybe I will do it, but uh, <laughs> not at the moment. <laughs> but she wrote, she had written a wonderful, uh, or two wonderful poems. So one of the uh, two, two, one for the stack and the other one for the, the Terror of the Hidden Realms. And she has also made a great video on how uh, poetry or writing or creative writing can help you understand the deck better uh, instead of using the um, this um yeah uh, the typical uh spreads so interview spreads or something so this is really something um i would also like to do because uh at the moment i'm not always feeling like doing spreads only those i'm doing once a month or at the end of one month so uh, some kind of a retrospective for my weavers uh, oracle card and um, which i'm doing with the um with the weavers, of course, with the weaver uh, of, my, of the month and um, with the guy in tarot and also with the uh, women runes. And maybe I will do a video about that, how I work with that, if I can find the time. And I like that. It's a ducky. I like that. Responsibility and dedication. Acorns. So acorns, I guess, it's still, it's still fire. It's still fire. It's the page. 
when I see this monkey here, I remembers uh, or it, it remembers me of um, uh, the monkey that um, Pippi Longstocking has. I'm not sure if he's called the same like in, in German or in, in, in Sweden. Um, Herr Nilsson. So uh, I have to think of Pippi Longstocking's little ape friend. Ah, look at that. It's a... Uh, it's a boar, okay. Looks like these African boars. Okay, the deer. Passion and creativity. Wow. Like that here. Wow, the king of acorns. This is always, uh, almost like, um, I try to remember, it's in the... Um, which tarot was it? The Greenwood. You know, uh, exactly, the turning back to German. Uh, the, the Greenwood um, tarot. There you have also the the king of of uh, earth or the king of um, of stones. I guess it's stones. Sorry, it's of stones. The king of stones is also the horse. At least in the greenwood, I know that they changed it uh, for the wildwood tarot, but I like the I like the greenwood more. I have to be honest. Ah, this is something for Ruth from Rainfire Dreaming. I'm quite sure. Happiness, abundance, I love that. So this is really the interesting thing. Because, um, so we have, okay, shells. We can assume that it's cups and water. But this is really more about the emotion. And I like that they used a doves here. Um, this is quite fitting. Okay, water animal. This is quite obvious. And I like that. The three of uh, shells or three of cups and... Uh, these um, animals that are so, um, yeah, such community animals, actually. So fitting for that. Okay. It's a heron. Is it? Is it a heron? Four of, uh, four of shells. Crane. Okay. You can mix them up. It looks a bit like a heron. But at least also water, water connected. This is fitting. In terms of the the element, well, this is uh, uh, how are you firefly? Is it a firefly? We call them Glühwürmchen, so glowworms actually. Although I love love the the German word Glühwürmchen. Hope and readjustment, five of shells. Yes, okay, the fitting animal for that, the six of shells, sentiment and joy. Other yeah, other energy. Still hope to visit one day. The we have a special otter wildlife park or something we call otter centrum, so otter center, where they only have otters. I guess also badgers and so. So I think this would be quite fitting for that <laughs> badger and otter in one place. Only thing is, I can't make there. I can't make photo uh, photos or videos there because they are quite. For some reason, this park is quite. Uh, harsh with a copyright so quite interesting that the park has a copyright but they don't want to do uh, they don't want you to do that that uh, uh, so doing private videos or something might be okay but I'm not quite sure choice and ambitions it's a crayfish or it's uh, seven of shells is it a crayfish Lobster. Ah, the lobster, I guess. I learned it. <laughs> the starfish. Mm. Wow, look at these lines. This is so amazing. And all those colors blended in. Quest and renewal. Ah, oh, look at that. It's a penguin, but I guess a special one. They look like these... Um, a little bit, a little bit like the. the um, I'm not. I'm not sure if they were called the, uh, in in English uh, the same. The amigos from um, Happy Feet, <laughs> this uh, penguin dancing penguin movie from. Uh, I'm not sure uh, who made it. This animated movie, but I like the moves. 
the first the first movie I have to say the second was not so good but the music was really good and uh, <laughs> although dancing penguins was a bit strange <laughs> ten of shells sometimes it's really interesting to learn pelican okay pelican is the same here pelican pelican oh frog energy frog energy and we have a lot of frog energy going on in uh, the um yeah of my uh, in the garden of my uh, father and sister-in-law they have a pond and uh, frogs everywhere and frog concert constantly <laughs> even in the night which is not always fun <laughs> ah flamingo ah Knight of Shell, Charm and Passion. This is quite lovely. So, and here you can get all kinds of confused. Is it a sea lion or a sea leopard or a sea bear or <laughs> just a seal? Okay. <laughs> it's not so easy. Oh, look at that. Who was it who was so fond of them? Was it Bobby from Ragged Poet? From... Uh, Seahorse? Is it seahorse? We call them a Seepferdchen. Seahorse, yeah. Which is an amazing animal. The only animal, I guess the only animal where the uh, the male is birthing the um, yeah, the little ones. Ah, feathers. This is interesting that they used a goat. Mental clarity. Hmm. Yeah, interesting, interesting. What they do they say about the Ace of Feathers? So if you're really bored with my kind of presentation here, you can really turn off. <laughs> it's okay. I have to get used to it again, to be honest. And um, I guess I have to uh, stop a little bit here because after 30 minutes, my camera is regularly dying and needs a bit of refreshment. Uh, skilled at traveling. Through Ajora's terrain, Goat is your sure-footed guide. This is interesting, sure-footed guide. This is so true. My gosh, some of these uh, creatures can climb through some mountain goats and so on. So amazing. You would never think that they can climb such walls, but it's beyond amazing. So, kind of lizard. A kind of a lizard. Decisions and direction. It's a gecko. Okay, gecko. It's a gecko. It's okay. Sometimes you have that that you have by, with animal decks that they always write it down on the bottom. Sometimes you think, okay, well, it's obvious what, what it is. A lion is a lion. But sometimes, maybe... Okay, moth. This is easy. Bear is just so beautiful. And uh, what I have seen in the uh, in the uh, in the guidebook was also quite lovely. It's a four, yeah, four feathers. A navigator of the dream world. I love that navigator of the dream world. <laughs> hmm. Oh my gosh, how do you call those? Here in Germany we call them Gürteltier. Gürteltier, but how is it called? Amadillo. <laughs> Amadillo. <laughs> okay, Gürteltier. Okay, Dragonfly, of course. Like here. Transition and inside. It's also gorgeous. Also with the uh, spiral here in the center. It's really delicate. My gosh, those lines. Oh, this is the cheetah. The cheetah. We call them gepard. And again, as you can see here, those borders here it's like okay there's some kind of it's like 
there are different kind of uh, uh, color border, uh, border colors or something, but not necessarily. Um, it doesn't look like on purpose. It looks like uh, okay, uh, two here, three there, and interesting. Hmm. I wonder if that's on purpose or if it was uh, just a mistake or something. Oh, look at that. The age of feathers. It's Courage Solutions is the mice. Or the mouse. The mouse. It's one mouse. Um, oh god. How you call that? Porcupine or something? You call it... I guess it's a... You call them Stacheltier? Porcupine, yeah. We call them Stacheltier. Stachel, no, Stachelschwein. We call them Stachelschwein. <laughs> oh, look. This is gorgeous. The Ten of Feathers. Oh my gosh. Love that snake. Working with... Uh, on a on a piece um, at the moment that will soon will uh, go into my uh, shop into my Etsy shop that has also uh, snake energy in it and also recently worked on a special piece for a special soul with some snake and Shakti energy in it and so this is really gorgeous love that. Ah, the raccoon. The raccoon. Exploration and discovery. Yeah. Sad that they don't... Um, I guess I haven't seen them uh, in another deck um, at all. Would love to see raccoon dogs in uh, in a deck, actually. Or raccoon dog. Um, which is not a raccoon, but because they look so similar, they are quite often... Uh, mistaken for raccoons, but um, raccoon dogs are um, a different kind of species. They look, at first you could think it's a raccoon, but um, they called in in um, Japan, they called um, tanuki, which is uh, quite a uh, um, famous mythological animal, which is able to shapeshift. In all sorts of forms, which is also f uh, familiar in uh, Japan or Japanese mythology uh, among um, foxes and cats, but uh, raccoon dogs uh, are more famous for that. At, at yeah, you at least when you can uh, when you um, um, refer or not refer when you uh, watch um, a Ghibli movie uh, where raccoon dogs play a huge part. Um, Gosh, man, I guess I've lost the title of the movie. Um, maybe I will f uh, can uh, put it in here at the bottom. It's a great it's a great movie about raccoon uh, dogs uh, and how they sh uh, shape shift also into humans. How they want to um, ah now I know it Pompoko. Now I know it Pompoko is the is the um, um, title of the Ghibli movie with the raccoon dogs that try to si save their environment that is um, destroyed by humans and they use their transformational uh, magical powers to prevent that and uh, it's a gorgeous movie and as all Ghibli movies are but I have to think about them but um, raccoons are also quite wonderful to watch um yeah what do we have here is that the coyote because there was another one that i mis may be mistaken for the coyote that was the devil card the knight of feathers that's the coyote and what was the what was the um the jackal Shakal, we call them. Okay, I mistaken them. So there was the there. I mistaken these two here. So the one is the is the coyote, and that's the jackal. Or yeah, we call them shakal. 
It's not so easy to do, uh, to to distinguish those two. Action and focus. This is interesting. The tricks to energy with action and focus. So at least when you go, um, when you refer to um, First Nations teachings, um, to those who are available, uh, which are available. But I'm not quite sure. Maybe. Um, I'm not quite sure. It's the coyote also. The coyote is only um, it's only an animal which you can find in uh, in America and the U.S., but not here in Europe. So uh, the one that that also encompasses trickster energy here in Europe is more the fox. That is uh, some kind of a substitute for that. But um, yeah, it's interesting. I took we call that the knight of feathers coyote it says here coyote has an inquiring mind and is an intense observer he is a revealer of truth behind illusion okay there we have it and always cuts to the chase so knight of feathers okay the knight of it's air yeah it's air could also be quite harsh at times so um yeah maybe it's fitting yeah Oh, look at that. The Queen of Pentacles is... Uh, Queen of Feathers. Isn't she beautiful? Perception and truth, and it's bad. Hmm. Look at that. This is amazing. I'm quite interesting. They're interested in... Oh, there is another. Oh, there's a lion. Okay. King of Feathers. Logic and justice. So this is more... Um, this is more like the, the qualities that you find... Ooh that you find um, the internal qualities of each element. Not necessarily this kind of uh, in which element uh, which element is the home of the animal, so to speak. So this is quite um, nice, also nice way to um, get a different perspective on the elements, at least from, from my point of view. Logic and justice. Oh, look at that, the panda bear! of crystals and crystals are earth this is really helpful that they added these the uh, elemental the elemental signs so it's more more easier so oh kangaroo kangaroo balance and adaptability adaptability no i can't say that <laughs> this sucks <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, Adapt ability. Whatever. <laughs> However. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not sure. I'm even not sure how to tra translate that. Anpassungsfähigkeit, I guess. Yeah. This would, would be the German word for that. <laughs> Balance. Oh yeah. The B. Three of crystals. Oh, bees are such amazing creatures. Such amazing. And there are so many great new ways of beekeeping out there. Of, what should I say? New ways, maybe more natural ways of beekeeping out there. I'm following on Instagram uh, uh, a woman. Um, her account is called Beekeeping in Skirts. And she rarely wears protection when she's dealing with her bees. But in a very gentle and soft way, she can encourage bees with her bare hands to go into their hives. And she also has quite interesting hives. So different kinds of hives, not this typical box thing, uh, but more natural. And so through her, I also uh, discovered other beekeeper, uh, uh, more alternative beekeeping um, um, organizations, I should say. No people, beekeepers, alternative beekeepers that try to align their their hives more to the natural ways of how bees are living. And there are so, such amazing hives, so-called sun hives, that are a bit like a basket, not like the traditional one, but really amazing ones. And also hives that are incorporated in uh, cut tree trunks, and so that's more natural and so on really amazing and this is really intriguing i love that i would 
love to to hear more of that and this account i've um, told you here um the beekeeping is skirts she's also doing um um so shamanic journeying with bees so uh, offering workshops and so on she's living in the u.s i hopefully i remember all the accounts and uh, instagram accounts i've uh, told you about <laughs> to put in the description box oh my gosh what is that it's not an otter it's a it's not a beaver is it four of crystals let's see four of crystals it's a beaver okay it's a beaver i've never saw beavers having such big ears here hmm interesting i can't recall that beavers have this uh, such big ears hmm i have to i have to research <laughs> A ladybug. We call them marine kefir. But sadly, you don't see them here. Uh, the original ladybugs not so often. We have these. We have these Chinese ladybugs here, which are more orange, and they're really taking over. And um, there are times when they are flying here like crazy. I guess early spring it was where we have had thousands and thousands flying, and they are quite. Um, you have to be careful when you get them on your uh, bare skin because they're quite hurting. Um, I don't know with what if they bite or whatever, but uh, not the original dark red ladybox. Oh, look at that. We call them Erdmännchen, which I love the sound of it. Erdmännchen sounds so cute. Uh, six of crystals is not six it's six of crystals six of crystals is the mare cat okay mare katze okay we also call them similar mare katze but we also call them erdmännchen because they are standing like a little yeah männchen a little man <laughs> synergy and gratitude oh look at that oh he's so, he's so cute it's an ameisenbär in german but i don't know they are called in Ameisenbeer, Ameisenbeer, Ameisenbeer. It's not called like that. Seven of crystals is. Oh my gosh, how you pronounce that? Artwork? Artwork. Never heard of that before. Never. Sounds like. Yeah. Awkward. Or awkward. <laughs> No, uh, but I guess it's an Ameisenbär in, uh, in um, it could be, I'm not sure, maybe not, because the snout is too too uh, short for an, I'm not sure, You maybe you know, don't know what I'm talking here about at all, but uh, try to make sense in German as well, but I guess I have to, re I have to research that as well, and the buffalo, oh, of course the buffalo. Of crystals, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm sh I, oh, I'm quite happy that there's only one spider in this deck because I know in the Terra Fauna uh, there are uh, two spiders in it, I guess, in the majors and in the minors. Oh, no, not in the minors, both in the majors, of course. But, oh, and now everyone who hates spiders should turn their head away <laughs> otherwise they will turn like Bruh. but if you look at that she has a triple moon on it so a goddess sign what do they say about or does uh, she say security and abundance this is interesting spinning between the realms of conscious and subconscious spider weave, weaves together desires and paths She's patient and meticulous in her craft and worked hard for what she has achieved. She designed her web in her personal garden of life and is now in a position of repose and comfort. Aware, uh, aware of the limitless force of creation, she possesses confidence in her self-development. Spider will help you construct your own formula of success to apply to anything that you're working on. Enjoy the abundance you have earned and be wise about the life you continue to weave for yourself. 
you hold the power within your hands to fashion your most effective life. The life. This is really wonderful, and I love that that the goddess sign is on it. And what you hear there is a na dog's neighbor. Uh, yeah, neighbor's dog, <laughs> other way around. And his name is called Derek. <laughs> I know this little fellow. It's a little uh, dachshund. And he's always uh, getting loud when someone's ringing the doorbell. <laughs> and look at the alligator. Stability and attainment. And the fox. I wasn't sure if there was a fox in it. So we have uh, the European and the US trickster energy in it. Ideas and discipline. This is interesting. Discipline. Wouldn't come with, up with that. Ideas and discipline. Okay, clever fox is a master at problem solving. Okay, this makes sense. They are, they are, yeah, and ideas is also very, very interesting and, and very fitting because um, um, uh, relatives of ours, they have chicken and they lose, regularly lose chicken to uh, a couple of foxes and because they're yeah not willing to um yeah secure their chicken i'm not sure why they're not willing to but they always underestimate the cleverness of the fox or the foxes there and what they can do and how they can climb also trees and so on and so forth and uh it's really amazing what they can do and how they can also climb uh, fences and so on so you have to be really clever for yourself to to resolve that problem <laughs> to save your chicken but at the moment the foxes there are dining on chicken regularly <laughs> and uh, um, it's not a camel it's uh, we call them andromeda andromeda it is knight of crystals is the camel it's a camel no way do you call them also camel with here in Germany, we call them Andromeda because they have only one hunch, hunchback, hunch, whatever. And the others have two. And again, a little bit of noise. Um, so I'm not quite sure. Do you call both camel? Interesting. Hmm. Sometimes you learn new things. And the hedgehog, the hedgehog. Like that look, a little bit tribal looking hedgehog. And the king of crystals, it's a tiger. Wow, the eye is quite the eye of the the eye of the tiger, yeah, of course. Quite quite a stern look. It's focused on something. Maybe he's he's spotted uh, he spotted uh, uh, his prey. <laughs> yeah, this is a great it sure seems like a great deck. I'm quite sure uh, that uh, yeah that I will uh, love to work with it. It was interesting when um, I searched through this here that um, that uh, Paulina Cassidy uh, Cassidy herself said that you could uh, try to focus that you can use this also as an oracle. So the spirit song deck. Um, May also be used as an oracle. Reading with oracle uh, with an oracle is free form, so there are no rules that need to be followed. Use your intuition to create your own spread and create your own layout using as many or as few cards as you wish, and so on and so forth. This is quite interesting. So she's bringing up that by herself too, and there are also some spreads in them, which is seems like cool spreads. So we have the. The spirit song star spread where you have uh, something like a present situation cause of your issue um a cause of your issues here uh changes need to need to resolve your issue here for we have your own strength needed other challenges to overcome as fifth sixth is your likely solution and we have the spirit song healing spread six cards okay Issue, past, present, source, limitation, okay. Maintenance. 
This sounds interesting. A tree of life spread. Wow, 10 card spreads. I have to say, I haven't done a 10 card thing for a while. A 10 card tarot reading for a while. I guess the most, I five, five cards are the most uh, cards I'm using in a, in a spread at the moment. But I'm not feeling like, um, don't feeling like, I'm not, I'm not feeling like wanting to do spreads at the moment. Um, and not many spreads, of course, also, because um, it feels like, I'm not sure, sometimes it starts to feel um, hollow or shallow or whatever. Um, it, it lacks meaning after a while. So, um, and sometimes the cards will tell you some, some things over and over again, and you can listen once and do it, uh, but... Uh, I feel like um, I wanting um, I'm wanted to um, or I want to do spreads at special times at the moment, at very special times, and then um, um, to make them to make them more impactful for me. So doing more and more spreads feel feels like um, losing meaning, at least for me. It's it's like that. So what I'm seeing here at the moment is that they tend to do this so not necessarily really happy with the cardstock and they they tend to flip back so so hmm. I'm not sure if I like this uh, this cardstock so the um, the joie de vivre is a little bit more not so cardboardy like and feels also a bit more stable and a little bit little bit more plastic like but only a little bit but this one is um it's different it's different different and i'm not sure if i like that that um that cardstock it seems like they shuffle quite well hmm and for whistle shuffling would also work but I'm not doing it at the moment only thing that I don't like is like many is that they do this uh, US games thing but it's it's not so intrusive and I like that they didn't do it here because of all the ornaments and so on it would have looked more uh, awful uh, so to say but the box and so on is really gorgeous better than the tuck boxes uh, they did uh, uh, before and I like the, the colors here it's really amazing colors so soothing and looks quite nice so um, yeah um, I will stop now because uh, maybe you all uh, started to to fall asleep because I'm uh, a bit uh, boring today <laughs> but maybe I will find my flow back uh, into videos more uh, uh, in the future and um, I wish you a wonderful day and uh, yeah a peaceful night uh, wherever you are and uh, when I'm looking here I see a crow sitting in a birch next to me and uh, and the moon and yeah I wish you all the best. Bye.